All right, guys, so now that we've talked a little bit about the concept of playing quarterback, let's, let's talk about like getting down to the nitty gritty and uh, what to do to actually throw a good pass, uh, to be accurate, to throw touchdowns, whatever you want to call it. And um, the first thing you got to learn is how to actually grip the football. You see a lot of guys that, that grip it differently. Brett Favre used to put his finger on the tip of the ball. You know, some guys put their hands all the way around the ball, but most people don't have big hands. I don't have big hands. So what I was taught by a guy named Jeff Christensen out of here in Chicago is you put your hand on the football and you want to put your ring finger of your throwing hand left or right, you want to put it on the second lace, second lace. Then you put your pinky and you kind of just run it along the ridge line of the laces. And that gives you good, you know, good feel on the football. And then for your other two fingers, you kind of want to run, run them along this ridge line right here. And again, a college football, high school football is going to be different, but they all have laces, they all have ridge lines that run through here. And the reason you want to have your fingers running along this ridge line is if the ball gets wet, if it gets slick, you have extra grip with these fingers. So that's basic, simple gripping the football. With your other hand, offhand, you always want to have your offhand on the ball um, because once you start taking it off, you got guys like Dwight Freeney coming around the edge knocking it out. So making sure your other hand's always on the ball. Um, whenever you actually hold the ball, you want to be loaded, but you don't want to be too tight because once you get too tight, then you squeeze the ball too hard and then the ball flutters. You want to have a nice smooth release where you get that spiral. So you want to be in a loaded position yet loose. You can kind of see how I'm loose, right? So you're just like this, you want to kind of have it just behind. So you imagine if I'm number 12, you want to have it behind the one. So you're in a loaded position, but you're still loose and you're ready to throw at any moment's notice. Now, if you look at my feet, your feet are so important to playing the position at quarterback. You always want to try to point your toe towards your target whenever you're throwing. And then your back foot is very important. Again, something I picked up from a guy named Jeff Christensen. You want to be on the ball of your back foot. You want to have a good knee bend because that good knee bend is going to allow you to use your hips because that's where all your power is coming from. Your hips and your core, it's not coming from your arm. Your arm is just a slingshot. Your arm is, is just a slingshot from what happens with your hips. That's where your power is coming from. You want to have a good knee bend, point your toe towards your target, and then whenever you throw, your arm follows suit. So it's just like this, boom. And then you follow through just like a pitcher follows through in the game of baseball. There's a lot of similar qualities that you can track from, from baseball to football to golf. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips right here. And then strong core, strong legs. As a quarterback, as a thrower, you want to have a strong midsection. So that's the simple part of gripping the football, running your fingers along the ridge line, being loaded yet relaxed, being ready to throw any moment's notice, pointing your toe to a target, having a good solid knee bend, being a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, being up on the ball of your toe so you can be quick, and then you can push off, and then you follow through. And that's exactly what you're gonna see right before we throw.